What's up guys? It's Devin here at the Grunt and Gobble Outdoors. Today we're making a PVC boat. First things first, you need your PVC. So what I did is I got a 38 inch piece of PVC. You probably go longer, that's a little bit short. But then you gotta mark the center. And then I put two marks. Here's two inches and then two inches. So four inches for grip. And we're gonna be making a recurve. So I marked here's four inches. And that's gonna be where it curves back. You wanna start off by getting your pipe. Might want some oven mix too, because it gets kind of toasty over the stove. Or you could use a heat gun. What you're going to do is just take the pipe, and you're just going to spin it and move it back and forth, you know, over the stove. And you get it nice and toasty. And then once you do that, you're going to need a board so you can flatten it out. Make the limbs flat, because they're sturdier that way and you get more power out of it. You're just going to heat it up until it kind of gets wobbly. You can see there that it's just real pliable. The hard thing about a stove is you got to keep it all evenly heated. and It gets kind of tough because you got to make sure it's all extremely hot. But, you know, it just takes a long time. So once you get good and warm, and you're going to go over here and get your board. And make sure that's straight. You're going to take the board and set it right on that handle marking. Not the halfway mark, but that handle mark. You want to make sure that the board edge doesn't crease right here on that marking. You just want to get on the board and push it down to make sure it's flat. And you're just going to wait and let it cool off a little bit. Then you're going to want a wet rag with cool water so you can wipe it down and it'll cool a little bit quicker. That way it doesn't puff out on you. See it steaming. Just do that. Before it gets too cool, you know, make sure to look down it. Make sure it's straight. Right there looks pretty straight. So Now what you're going to want to do, you're going to need a pot for this. You're going to take and heat up this part where the curve is going to be for the recurve. Okay. So then, you're going to go over to the pot. Take this, push it down, and roll it along the top, and then stop that roll right on that mark. And just let that cool off for a little bit. Make sure to push it down so it stays flat. You don't want it to be puffed out and the rest of the bow be flat. Just gonna take the rag. Here it is. And you can just 
sure I rub it and make sure it gets cooled down. Now that four inch marking I decided to do might be a little too short. I don't know if that's enough curve. So you could modify that or however you think it would work good. That's what I got. I'm going to go ahead and do that other limb right now. Alright, I got the other limb done. And before you move on, we're going to mold the handle to your hand a little bit. But before you move on, you want to make sure that this curve matches this curve. Which I did it pretty close. I mean, you can't really get it exact. And then you want to make sure that it's straight. You don't want to have any curves or anything. If it curves up like this, that's fine as long as it's against this curve. You want it to curve this way and then it go back that way. You know, you don't want it to be like straight that way unless you're making a long bow. So now we're going to mold the handle. What you're going to do for that is go back over to your stove. You're just going to heat up in this area. You don't want to get much of this because this will puff back out and it won't be flattened. And you're just going to wrap it around and just kind of squeeze. You gotta make sure this is even. It might make the bow shoot weird if it didn't. And you're just gonna cool that off. And once again. I want to check to make sure that it's still straight. Not too bad. Now you got your grip done. You got the curves made. So all you got to do now is let it cool down a little bit. And you just got to cut our grooves for our bow string. I'm just going to use paracord. You can use whatever you want. And we'll string it up and it's good to shoot. You can also spray paint it like I did my other one in the beginning of the video. That looks kind of nice. Alright, so now I got these marked. Let me see the green lines right here. And I got them. I don't want it too high. So if you do that, it'll take away the integrity. If you go too low, it won't really be a recurve. So I got that probably about a half inch. Maybe a little bit more or less. I mark that on both ends. I'm just going to go ahead and saw that. String it up and I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. Okay. So, gun cut. Just did a basic V cut. I've got my uh, bow string. Just using paracord, the 550 pound test. And you could probably use 80 because I don't think this bow's going to have too much power. But, I don't know, it's probably a 40 pound bow. So what you need to do is tie the knot and what you do is just make a loop, take this, wrap it around, and push it through there. And you just pull that tight. Okay, it's probably a good thing this happened, but 
as you can see that limb collapsed. I probably got it flattened too much right here when I was trying to string it. It collapsed. So what you got to do is just heat your stove back up. Doing that right now. Then you're just going to go back over it and you know, just like you did this, re-flatten it back out. You'll be good to go again. Okay. Let's try this again. Do that. Get and cinch down. Tighten it up. When I actually get this, I'm going to be very, very happy. Okay. Almost got it. I'm just gonna let it sit like this for a little bit and let the string stretch out. So I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, so I finally got it strung after all that struggle. And as you can see, that limb that collapsed earlier, I didn't get it heated up enough or I didn't do something right, so I'm gonna have to redo that limb. But I've tried pulling this back and I've shot it a couple times. I think it might be an 80 pound bow. And that's about as far as I can get it back. So I'm pulling 60 pounds of the bear outbreak. Man, I don't know. I'm shooting at a high density foam target. Here's one that's two inches. Another two inch target. I'm shooting Mm, five, six, seven yards. I'm just going to take three shots at it and we'll see how it groups. So far, it's doing pretty great. That one was me. Without having an anchor point, so I can't get it far enough back, I'm going to have a hard time aiming with it. Yeah. Those arrows were reflecting off each other, making them angle like that. But I'm pretty happy about that. They're sticking in a good three and a half, four inches into the target. So, do you guys have any ideas? on how I could, you know, change the grip of the bow or make it more comfy. Um, any paint schemes that you think would be easy to do a spray paint that would look cool. You can comment that. Um, if you guys have any video ideas, you should comment and we'll do that. But also, it's not my fault if you guys make this and get hurt because it snaps or something like that. So we aren't you're going to get in trouble for that because it's not our fault. So just be careful, especially if you're using a stove, don't burn yourself. Thanks for watching.